Michael, so basically the hot weather and our reaction to it by opening windows and, and, and things um, can be a thieves' charter. Tell us more. The problem is the hotter it gets, the more we tend to leave doors open, windows open, and this gives the, op the opportunist burglar a chance to break into your property uh, through the open windows and burgle you while you're asleep upstairs. Scary thing, isn't it? That burglars are, are quite happy to to come in, even if the house or home is occupied, and mm -hmm. it could happen even in, in broad daylight. So, what are thieves looking for then? Should people never leave their windows and doors open, or is there a way of doing that safely? You can leave windows open if you're downstairs. Um, that's not a problem. It's just people tend to leave them open and go upstairs. Um, I always suggest keep them shut. Um, Open the doors, obviously, while you're down there, but not while you're upstairs. Burglary can be committed within 30 seconds. They could break in, get what they want, and back out. So it's not a good idea to leave anything open and leave that area. You're better off closing the windows, going upstairs, and then you know it is safe. Take keys out the door. Um, People do silly things like leaving calendars in the kitchen, facing the back window, telling the burglar what days they're out. It's all just common sense things that protect your property. I suppose the thing is uh, life is very fast paced and um, people, I mean, you know, say they're packing up, they're going with a family, they're trying to go on holiday or whatever, and they forget things. They forget to do obvious things. What are the big do's and don'ts? if you're heading off on holiday? Well, it, 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 again, it, it is just common sense. All you've got to do is make sure the place is locked up, obscure any windows downstairs so people can't look into the property, and don't announce it on social media that you're going on holiday. Um, that is a, a growing uh, trend now where people do look on social media to find out who is going on holiday. Um, it, it is seriously just common sense things. Keys out the door. Make sure you have a cage on the inside of your letterbox to stop letterbox fishing. And lock up, take keys out, put window locks on, photograph every room in your house because the biggest thing is they tip the place upside down and it takes you a while to think about what's been stolen. If you have pictures... It's good for the insurance company, and it's also good for you to remember. Uh, Michael, just tell us a little bit about how you saw the error of your ways. You describe yourself as a former burglar, so presumably um, you don't do that anymore. Um, but what stopped you, or what led you into it in the first place? And, you know, have you ever met any of your victims, for example? Tell us a bit about your thieving past. Yeah, um, I grew up in children's homes. Uh, to be part of the, the group... Um, it was peer pressure. We, I joined the group to go out on burglaries because I suppose I wanted to be a part of them. Um, at the age of 17, even though I'd grown up in uh, institutions, um, I got caught for receiving stolen goods. And my social worker, which was very good, said to me, you're on your way to prison, even though... I'd grown up in institutions. Uh, the thought of prison frightened me to death and it made me change my way. If I'd have gone to prison, that would have lived with me for the rest of my life. Um, that stopped me in my tracks and I just changed and decided, you know, this isn't the way for me. You know, burglary, I do talks in prisons, uh, schools. Burglary, you commit it, you sell your items, You've got no remorse. It's only when you do face the victims that you realise what you've done to somebody else, that you realise the pain you've caused. Um, I was glad to get out of it. And what I do now is just try and help people uh, really protect their property.
Yeah, and it's interesting, we've been talking this morning about the, the leadership debate that's raging at the moment and Rishi Sunak saying he's going to get beats on the streets, get police officers back uh, trying to patrol the streets to make Britain safer. And interesting hearing you describe prison, uh, the thought or the threat of prison as a deterrent. And a lot of people will be pleased to hear that because a lot of people talk about whether or not it works and uh, the fact that you go into prisons as well and trying to explain to people about the impact. Because, you know, I've got friends who've been horribly burgled and um, girlfriends of mine who, who just the violation of having had a complete stranger without permission yeah. rifling through their possessions, the treasured, yeah, treasured mm. possessions, and and just being frightened every night alone in the house for, for months, if not years, uh, to come after us. It does have a huge, devastating impact on people, even not just the value, uh, financial value of it, but the, the emotional value. It does. The problem you've got is. Um, the police haven't got the resources to sort out burglary. It's very low down on the right of things that are serious. It's only if they've assaulted the person or, you know, um, they're recognised. So it's very difficult for the police to sort it out. What we've got to do is ourselves look at our own security. I always say, look at your property. Imagine you've lost your keys. How would you get into it? Because believe you me, the opportunist finds that way very quickly.